I love the left bank. Some of my best memories from my first trip to Paris were right here between the Museum d'Orsay going down towards Notre Dame. And there are a lot of touristic spots here, so there's some places you may want to avoid. But we're gonna take you to some of the best hidden gems, local spots, and beautiful things to try. Macarons, saucisson, the charcuterie uh, cheeses, some wine places, and just great spots to get great food to eat on the left bank. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's do it. On y va. Let's go. Our first stop today is Cafe Nano, and this is close to Invalids, close to the Museum of Rodin, and it is just a tiny little gem off the beaten track with amazing homemade food. This is a charming little hole in the wall, just as adorable as can be, with obviously street side seating. And they don't have a set menu, like they're not gonna hand you a menu. The menu is written on a blackboard. And they have close to the same stuff all the time, like I got the vegetarian quiche, which was amazing. And every day they have a vegetarian option, it may not be the quiche, but the food here is absolutely delicious and it's just charming. And they speak English. Now, for our second stop, we're gonna go and have some of the best chocolate and caramel in Paris. You ready? Oh yeah. Let's go. So this is a uh, pâte de fruit, mango passion fruit. Typical French and it's beautiful. Oh, this is amazing. What I came here for was the chocolate because Jacques Genin chocolate, it's a whole different level. And you have a lot of chocolate shops in Paris. A lot of names and everything, but Jacques Genin is, a, is an artist and we featured him in a video when we got to go in his lab. And this is why I come back here because if you want some fine chocolate, some of the best chocolate in Paris, Jacques Genin is the address. So this is a Rocher. So I remember this from my childhood because I, I, I love this. It's filled with praline and everything. Right, let me give it a shot. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's, it's milk chocolate, praline. They have it in dark chocolate too. This is a pricey piece of chocolate, but it's worth it. It's so good. So this, if you're in Saint-Germain, come to this store, order that chocolate. It's amazing. Jacques Genin is a must stop, you know, if you're a chocolate lover in the Saint-Germain area. He does obviously chocolate, he's a chocolate uh, artist. Uh, he also does amazing caramel and uh, pâte de fruit. But when we went to his shop, we tried the caramel and I did not know, I thought caramel was caramel, but they do all kinds of caramel. We got the passion fruit, the mango passion fruit caramel which is a whole different level. So we, uh, we got that today, in addition to a praline. And I'm gonna give it a shot. This is really, really good, look at that. This is a mango passion fruit caramel. And we did that with him in his uh, workshop. Oh my God, this is so good. Like last time, my mouth is buttering, it's so good. Holy moly, honestly, this is an amazing pit stop. Really cool. And I'm having the ginger caramel, which is amazing. And now we've had the sweets, we're gonna go get something a little bit savory, so let's go to the next stop. One of the places you need to know about in Paris is the fromagerie, or cheese shop. And this little stop here has amazing flavors, all kinds of different cheeses, a whole section of goat cheese, sheep cheese, cow cheese, and all kinds of good stuff. So let's go find something yummy. You're gonna find those uh, Boulangerie Eric Kaiser everywhere in Paris. That's not what we're stopping today, but they're decent. Not the best, just decent. We're going someplace else. So 
So the next stop was a uh, local boulangerie and we uh, found this little boulangerie which is delightful. By the way, you have a whole bunch of chain boulangerie in uh, Paris like Kaiser and Paul. Their products are okay and it's great if you're in a train station but the best things in uh, Saint-Germain or the neighborhoods is a local little boulangerie because they have amazing pain au chocolat and croissant. My favorite is pain au chocolat. That's, that's the best way to start the day, so let's give it a shot. Oh. That's good stuff. You know, you can taste that good quality butter. It's consistent. It's a good pain au chocolat. Mm. A good pain au chocolat should be flaking up like that. So this is not part of our pit stop today, but this is an amazing restaurant in uh, Paris called L'Atelier de Joël Robuchon. If you're looking for an amazing meal, we're right there. A little side note here, all the locations that we covered are going to be included in our Paris travel guide, which is available for download in the description below. There's a link, just click on it. Also included there is all the restaurants that we've ever tried and some hotels and some tours that's probably gonna help you tremendously in planning your trip to Paris, so just check it out. The next stop on this food tour is right here at Viandas de Salamanca. And I know you're gonna say it's not French. It's Spanish, Iberian, but Spain and France are neighbors and French people adore this. You can get some fresh sliced Iberian ham, you can buy a saucisson, you can get all kinds of stuff, including a formula sandwich. But what we got today is this little baby right here, a little cone of saucisson bites, which are amazing. Just a little piece of deliciousness and, oh my God, the quality is phenomenal. And if you want a little protein pick-me-up while you're running through the day, grab a little cone of those, share them or not. You can get a sandwich, whatever, but this is an amazing little spot on the left bank. I love those. Those are great little snack when you're hungry and you're walking a lot and you need a little protein uh, injection. Look at that, a little corne, delightful. This is good. It's awesome, I really love this. The next stop is Maison Thevenin, which is a little bakery here, Rue Boussy, and they have fantastic stuff. And what we chose to get today is the Tulle Nature. So nature is like plain. I could have got it with chocolate, but I like it just like that. I don't know if you've ever seen these anywhere else. I've never seen them outside of France, but just like a really, really thin cookie with almond inside, buttery, yummy, and awesome. So let's just walk and eat this thing on our way to the next. Come on. Next, we're gonna go stop in one of our favorite cafe in the Saint-Germain area. We're gonna have a coffee, we're gonna have a drink, and we're gonna do uh, some people watching. Let's go. This is one of our favorite cafe in Saint-Germain because it's just a little bit off of the main drag, uh, but it's an amazing place to get a quick cup of coffee or get a drink or whatever you're in the mood for and get amazing people watching, just people walking in the street. The Louis Vuitton store is right around the corner and we're actually right around the corner from Café de Flore, but we don't go there because it's we think it's overpriced and overly touristic and that's so cliche. So we just come here to this little Café Le Bonaparte, right in this little corner, the little church right there. It's awesome. And we sit not in the street, but just a little bit inside. They open everything up and you get to see everybody walking by. It's just an awesome spot. Great coffee, a drink, whatever you want to have. And voila, now you're a Parisian. Bonjour. 
So we're here at Risha, which is a small family business, three generations of making chocolates and macarons, and the macarons here I've heard are phenomenal. It's my first time trying it, and let's take a bite. And it's like you're breathing in the smell of a rose into your case buds. And then there's the tiny little hint of grapefruit, which is just a hint of citrus, but not sharp. And it is, oh my God, delicious. Richard is just around the corner from Café de Flore, Café Bonaparte. Easy to get to, and you're gonna wanna stop here. And I got the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the Nutella flavor, because I love Nutella. You could put Nutella on anything. Oh, oh yeah, hazelnut chocolate. This is really good. It's crunchy on the outside, really soft on the inside. They're not mass produced. This is a local, they have one store in Paris. This is a local chef that is making his macarons, so it's really, really good quality. I love that. So the rose and pineapple one was so delicious, I had to go back and try another one. So my second choice was <laughs> coconut, and oh my God, this one, it's not crispy on the outside like the first one, mm -hmm. but this is, as the uh, lady in the shop says, it's like a little hug inside when you take a bite, and I think she's right. It's just like a hug. <laughs> I wanna try it. I wanna try it. Mm. Oh yeah, this is good. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir, bonne journée. <laughs> And right here is probably one of the oldest restaurants in Paris called Le Procop. It was founded in 1686. Can you imagine? They've been serving coffee here since 1686. This stop is the Paradise de Fruit, and I never stopped here for all of the decades that I've been coming here because I thought it was very touristic. It's not. It's fabulous, it's fruit, it's vegetarian, and they have great desserts, so let's go. So now we're here at the Paradise of Fruit, right at the plaza at the Fountain Saint-Michel, and just across from this little church over here. And I chose this place because sometimes when you're running around, you got all this heavy stuff, bread and everything, you just want something light, fruity, and especially on hot summer days, a nice smoothie. This place has great vegetarian dishes, not all vegetarian, but a lot of vegetarian, but we're here today having a smoothie. So, cheers. Right off of Rue de Bussy is probably one of the best burger in Paris, Le Camion qui fume. If you need to have a burger or you have kids and they want to eat a burger, you bring them right here. Some of the best burger in Paris. And that's according to Anthony Bourdain. And you can barely see it from the street, but take my word for it. Look at the sign right there. Le Camion qui fume. This stop is one more place I probably would not have gone to except it's kind of excellent. It's called La Dernier Goutte, which means the last drop. It's a little wine store. You can go in and just buy a bottle of wine just to take on your picnic, bring it home with your charcuterie and whatnot. But they also have a wine class in English where you can go inside. For 70 euros, you get to try five reds, two whites, sit in a little room in the back. And I know there are other tours that bring people here, bring in your own charcuterie, cheese and things, and sit in a little room in the back. And it's kind of cool, so that's a great spot to know about when you're here on the left bank. This stop is about having a little charcuterie board and a glass of wine at the end of the day, like you've been sightseeing around. You come right here, you got the conciergerie across the street, Notre Dame a little bit up, Saint Michel, which is right around the corner. Uh, this is a little gem in Paris, hidden place, a little cafe that only locals go to. Most of the people in there are Parisians. You're not gonna break the bank, it's not outrageously expensive, and you have yourself a great, a great little board of charcuterie, some cheese and a glass of wine. And that is a great way to end the day. Right. 
So our last stop of the day for this food tour is in one of our favorite pastry shop in La Croix, which is literally across the street from Notre Dame. And today we got a little lemon meringue, which is the equivalent of the French key lime pie, and it's just super delightful on a hot summer day. I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, look at that, hard, it's hard meringue. Yeah, it's a little tangy. It's really good, and I love like you have the crunchy base of the lemon pie, then you have the soft part of the lemon pie, and then you have those little hot meringue right there. They're crunchy. Well, as crunchy as a meringue is gonna get. This is really good. We love this pastry shop. They do all kinds of amazing, really custom pastries, which are really awesome. Great way to end the day, right here, with a lemon pie and a drink. All right, so that does it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out our Paris travel guides with a lot of amazing address all around Paris. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time. Au revoir. Au revoir.